Hello dear friends, I am Kamal Kishore Kohli from Sarvati Vidya Pilt Residential School, Shopri and I welcome you to watch my VIP program Hello into English. Well, so in my previous video, I explained you very deeply and so simply about clauses and noun clause also. But today I am going to explain you adjective clause or relative clause. Okay? So today you will understand the concept of adjective clause. Do you know meaning of adjective? You will understand today. Well, if you don't understand or if you don't know the meaning of adjective, I will explain you today so deeply. I will explain you so simply so that you will understand the concept of adjective. Well, it means adjective means the word meaning of adjective means describing a word. Means word that qualifies noun or pronoun. That is called adjective. Well, for example, I am saying Mohan is intelligent boy. Okay? Mohan. Mohan is an intelligent boy. So, this is word. Intelligent. Is qualifying noun. So this is called intelligent means uh, adjective. Well, because this is qualifying, modifying noun. Boy. So this is called adjective. But we are talking about clause. This is word. This is not uh, clause. This is only single word. So it may be some different from this one. There will be some different, minutely different. Here is the word is qualifying noun or pronoun. Similarly, clause that qualifies noun or pronoun. That is called adjective clause. Well, you will understand clearly today. There will be no doubt in your brain after watching my video today. I assure you. Well, let us study. The boy who is to first in the class is an intelligent The boy who is ruled first in the class is an intelligent boy. Well, well, you can remove this one also because this is used. Boy, only single time you can use. Well, so you can put here this one. Well, you can watch here. You can see here attentively, carefully. The boy who is stood first in the class. This is the sentence. Well, the, boy, the boy who is stood, this is the, from here, who is stood first in the class. This is sentence. This is class, you can see that. And this whole sentence or this one whole clause is describing or modifying or uh, you can say that qualifying noun, this one. Because this uh, word, this sentence is saying about the boy. The boy is intelligent. So this sentence is describing about the boy. This sentence is saying some quality of the boy. So this clause is called adjective clause. Well, this is not a word. So the boy who is who is schools first in the class is an intelligent. That boy is so smart. The boy is so wise. Well, so this is called 
adjective clause. So it is clear now that this kind of sentence or kind of clause that describes about noun or pronoun that is called adjective clause. Well, now come to the next example, you will understand clearly. Well, the train which goes to Havla. The train which goes to Havla. Well, goes to Havra late. Late is late by one hour. Well. So this is a sentence, we can say a combination of two sentences. So we can understand with the help of example uh, what the adjective clause. Well, now we can modify this or we can analyze the sentence. The trend which goes to Havra. This is a clause. Well, so subordinate clause. And which clause is that? We will understand today. Okay. So the train which goes to Havra is late by one hour. The train is late by one hour. To so which train? This the train which is going to Havra. That is late one by hour. So we can say that this sentence is qualifying about train. Means the sentence is same or describing about train. Train is late. One hour late. Well, so this sentence is called adjective clause. Clear concept? So you can understand clearly. Well, now come to the next example also. She is the only girl who have, or we can say, I. So a man, so a man <clears throat> whose leg was broken. I saw a man whose leg was broken. I saw a man. This is the principal clause. And this one is adjective clause. Why? Because this sentence means this clause is qualifying about this man. What type of man is this? Lamb. Means who have a broken leg. So this is the sentence means a adjective clause. So you will understand clearly. I hope that. Well, now come to the next example also. You will understand. I am trying to my best. I am trying my best to explain you very simply. So that you will understand clearly. There will be no doubt if you watch carefully this video. Well, now come to the next example, you will clear, okay? I brought I brought some books. Which were torn. This is also adjective clause. Why? How can you identify the sentence or this clause? This is adjective clause. How can you identify this? Well, you can identify well. Now come to the uh, to analyze this sentence. I brought some books. This is principal clause. And which word term is subordinate clause? And what type clause of this? This is adjective clause. Well, how can you say? Because the sentence of this clause is qualifying books. Means the sentence is saying about 
books because books are so drawn well so this is the sentence means clause and you can say that in other words are relative clause these are the similar name of you said another name you can see that uh, both uh, there are two names of same clause relative clause you can say in other words also you can say adjective clause also well so clear concept i think similarly you can read lot of examples in your books and you can identify them because without practice and without reading without struggling and without doing something for achieving something we cannot learn anything else because it depends on our struggle it depends on on our hard working so without hard work without struggling nothing can be achieved in our life whatever we want so these are very simple sentences if you dare to study it if you dare to understand these concept of adjective clause so i hope that you will have a concept of clear well so there will be no doubt in your mind there will be no any doubt in your brain related to relative clause or adjective clause well because this is the uh, talk of understanding this is the concept of understanding without understanding you cannot form a kind of clauses we will not understand the clause the concept of clause you will not understand very easily if you don't pay attention towards understanding reading and about uh, trying to understand the relative clause or non uh, adjective clause well so try to understand the concept of anything else always try to understand the concept and reason beyond any problem without understanding the concept and the reason beyond any problem your confusion will not be so removed if you want to remove your concept means a problem from your mind related to adjective clause you will have to understand the reason what is the reason before any beyond any problem so it's compulsory well so i hope that you will have understood the concept of adjective clause well and uh, i would like explain you say that uh other examples also here so i will explain you uh, just i for example i saw a bird whose wings were broken so this is also a adjective clause also in this sentence and uh, a other sentence is also that for example she is only girl whom i have ever loved she is the only girl whom i loved her okay so in this sentence means the next means clause is modifying about or describing about girl so this is called also adjective clause next uh so many sentences you can see here also she loved the a boy she loved the boy room who have lot of money she loved the boy who have a lot of money she means uh, the boy is so rich boy is so millionaire so means this sentence is explaining about boy means this sentence means clause is explaining and describing about boy 
uh, what kind of boy is there the boy is so rich and uh, powerful you can see that or millionaire so these kinds of the sentences are called adjective clause where you will understand i hope that okay and uh, try always to study english language and whatever you know in your brain try always to speak without speaking you will not you will not learn english language yeah a lot of things you know very well that things but you never try to speak that okay so whatever you have in your brain try to speak no doubts of mistakes uh, sometimes you can do mistakes but never care of mistakes don't uh, think about mistakes okay because everybody do mistakes there is no man in the world who does not make mistakes so everybody make mistakes well so you should try always to try speak english language always so that your english will be so improved especially spoken english language well thank you to watch this video